story still developing, we could say, this morning out of Norfolk. A bus hit two people, but everyone on board is still trying to figure out how this all happened. Tonight, or I should say this morning, victims are recovering in the hospital. Only Chopper 10 was above the scene on Little Creek Road near Ward's Corner. Ten on your side's Anita Blanton has more on what police and witnesses say they saw. The evening rush an accident here at this intersection sends two people to the hospital, dozens of people finding detours, and a few more who were on the bus when the collision took place still scratching their heads. We've seen two people walking on the right side of the street. And um, we were all wondering what they were doing. They were staggering, they were swaying. This woman who didn't want to be identified says she saw the male victim trying to hold the female victim up. Then suddenly everything changed. So as we were getting ready to ride past them, so towards the right side of the back of the bus, we hear a boom. So everybody's yelling frantically to stop the bus. So we stopped the bus and everyone got off. And when they got off the bus, they found the man and woman lying on the ground. Naomi's daughter and her friend were walking nearby when they saw the commotion. We were just going for a walk down just right there. And like we looked back and everything was normal. And then like heard a crash and turn around like boom, bus, cops, paramedics, ambulance, everything. Naomi says this has been a dangerous intersection for a long time for various reasons. There was a summer that there was literally accidents happening two to three times a week. Sometimes drivers have been at fault. People go way faster than the posted speed limit, which is 35. And with that curve right there and the sidewalk is very narrow and it's just a horrible intersection. But she says it's not uncommon for pedestrians to be the cause of accidents here too. I do see people trying to dodge pedestrians, dodging that light and trying to dodge traffic and not being very smart. That was Anita Blanton reporting. Now, in this case, we don't have many details from police, but they have said the pedestrian stepped out to where the bus already was. The injuries were described as non-life-threatening. The intersection was closed for a little over an hour, but is now back open to traffic.